Good morning, good people. My name is Brother Bill Krauss, celebrating this month 54 years as a Capuchin and 49 years as a priest. And I'm speaking to you this morning from out in front of Our Lady of the Angels Friary in Colorado Springs. So how's your day going so far? Maybe you were already asked that question today at a early coffee purchase or at some store where these young women and men or older women and men are trained in their pleasant voices to say, how's your day going so far? For us as Christians, one of the most important questions that we can ask ourselves is, have you heard the voice of the Holy Spirit so far this day? Have you confronted a difficult problem or a thorny situation and prayed for the light and strength of the Spirit? St. Paul tells us in the first reading for Mass today, in his letter to the Corinthians, that is the Holy Spirit within us who is our teacher. Indeed, Paul says, only God's Spirit can teach us the deep things of God. And so the Holy Spirit is that voice, that voice of prayer, that voice of conscience to accompany us throughout the day. St. Francis of Assisi, Thomas of Chilano, tells us his secret to holiness was that he never let an inspiration of the Holy Spirit go unanswered, never let pass by an invitation of the Spirit. And when Frank, and when St. Francis would be in prayer and he would have some interruption from a brother or from some pastoral need, Chilano says, he didn't stop his prayer, he just took the Holy Spirit and tucked it under his mantle until the pastoral need was finished, and then he would pull out the Holy Spirit from his mantle and continue his prayer. So have you confronted a temptation yet today against charity or chastity or honesty or sloth and listened to the voice of conscience, that first voice of conscience to help you with that temptation? That first voice of conscience is the Holy Spirit. In my life, I think it's true that a secret to peace, to goodness, to holiness is a quick and fervent response to the voice of conscience, which is the voice of the Holy Spirit. Let's pray with and for one another on the journey, and may the Lord give you peace.